The normal heart has two sides, a right side and a left side, and four chambers, the top receiving chambers, or atrium, and the lower chambers, which are thick-walled pumping chambers, called ventricles. Red blood cell will come from either the superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava and enter into the right atrium. The blood then flows across the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle. The right ventricle then squeezes and ejects that blood cell into a vessel called the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery splits into two vessels, each going to the lungs. As that red blood cell makes its way through the lung, it returns through the pulmonary veins to the left atrium. That blood is now oxygenated. It's picked up oxygen, then goes across the mitral valve into the left ventricle, which does most of the work in terms of delivery of blood flow to the body. That blood cell is now ejected into the aorta to some organ or muscle or skin in the human body. Angina is a symptom of a serious condition called coronary heart disease, also known as coronary artery disease. The heart's job is to pump oxygen-rich blood throughout your body. To do its job, the heart needs a steady supply of blood. The vessels that supply blood to your heart are called coronary arteries. These very important vessels are located on your heart. In a healthy heart, blood flows freely through the coronary arteries, providing the heart with the oxygen it needs to work properly. In coronary heart disease, the vessels become stiff and narrow, making it difficult for oxygen-rich blood to reach your heart. Reduced blood flow that occurs following exercise or emotional stress leads to chest pain or discomfort known as chronic stable angina, which is relieved by rest or nitroglycerin. If a clot develops in the coronary artery, blood flow is reduced more severely. This leads to chest pain known as unstable angina, which usually occurs at rest and it requires immediate medical attention. In summary, when blood flow is reduced, your heart does not get as much oxygen as it needs, so it cannot pump blood like it should. This lack of oxygen is what causes the pain and discomfort of angina. If you have coronary heart disease, Angina is your heart's way of telling you that it needs more oxygen. Talk with your cardiologist if you have questions about angina. Infraction, or EF, is a measure of the amount of blood pumped out of the left ventricle of the heart. The term ejection refers to the percentage of blood ejected with each heartbeat. Your EF reveals how well your left ventricle is working. In a sense, it reveals how healthy or unhealthy your heart muscle is. Because not all of the blood is completely pumped out of the ventricle, the EF gives you the fraction of the total amount of blood pumped out. The heart on the left shows a heart with a normal EF. A normal EF is 50% or more, meaning at least 50% of the blood is pumped out of the left ventricle with each heartbeat. In comparison, the heart on the right, the heart failure heart, shows what it looks like when the left ventricle is weak and not able to pump out a normal percentage of blood with each beat. Most people with heart failure, but not all, have an EF of less than 40%. The heart doesn't always pump out all the blood that enters it. Ordinarily, it pumps out between 50 and 60% of the blood that enters it in any given heartbeat and leaves about 40% behind. That's the normal ejection fraction, should be 50 to 60%. Now, patients who've had heart attacks or who have other injuries to the heart uh, will oftentimes have a lower ejection fraction. Ejection fractions can get as low as 10%. And this causes a lot of problem. you end, problems. You end up with a heart that's, that, that's dilated, that doesn't really pump a lot of blood out. And instead of running on a V8, some patients end up having a six-cylinder engine or a V4 or even a V2. And when they start, having, they start taking cylinders out of the engine and the heart becomes weaker and weaker, you end up with a lot of problems, including heart failure and sudden death.